Hi there, my name is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest exam tips for the 70-533 exam, which is implementing Microsoft Azure Solutions certification. These tips come from both my Azure students of my Azure courses, as well as the members of the Azure user group on Facebook. The link is on screen, or you can go into Facebook and just search for Azure user group and we would love to have you as a member. If you have questions you wanna ask about Azure or you wanna just participate in discussions or you have resources to share, I would love to invite you to join and we can all learn from each other. So join the Azure user group. Now, these are the latest tips for the 70-533 exam on, on, from students who've taken that exam in the last couple of months. One student came out of the exam and said that there were way more Azure automation desired state configuration questions than they had expected. The, another student talked about OMS operations management suite questions. And finally, kind of related to the Azure automation part was the ability to read ARM templates was just identified as a key skill. So if you have time to study before you want to take this test, I would recommend you uh, download ARM templates, start reading through them, modifying them, deploying them, get more familiar with ARM templates. Finally, uh, scripting is always important. The last 12 months or so, scripting has been growing in importance within the 7533 exam. So understanding PowerShell, CLI, getting the Azure SDK for those things, adding, removing, managing, maintaining, scaling resources using PowerShell and CLI. Give that a try. So this is the TLDR. This is the summary of my latest tips on this exam. If you look at the exam requirements for 70-533, security, backup and recovery, and virtual machines make up 50% of the exam these days. Now, you also going to want to know more modern technologies such as containers and ARM templates, as well as virtual networks being a foundational technology. You'll want to practice deploying and managing resources using all the portal, as well as PowerShell and CLI, like I said. Finally, these are really two great resources. One is the Azure PowerShell GitHub repository. This is the official Microsoft Azure repository for sample PowerShell scripts. It's at github.com slash Azure slash Azure hyphen PowerShell. And like I said, there's over 600 scripts there. And if you ever want to, you know, test play around PowerShell, you can download from there and then modify that. We'll give that a try. Another resource that's coming to light is called Azure Citadel. This is a resource from Microsoft UK, and it contains labs and demos and lots of resources for you to teach yourself Microsoft Azure. So go out, check out Azure Citadel as well. Now, I said the Azure user group is a great place. This is where thousands, we've got over 8,000 people in there right now. So thousands of people talk about Microsoft Azure. And if you want to learn or you want to share your knowledge, I would definitely recommend you sign up for that. And finally, please hit subscribe on this YouTube channel if you found this video useful. Also check out my other videos. There's lots of other videos relating to Microsoft Azure. And so if you want to know about the latest information like this exam on exams or on Azure in general, uh, I would love to have you to check out these videos and to hit uh, subscribe. Anyways, I appreciate you viewing and I hope you have a great day.